2024 is right around the corner, which means it's time to start prepping for it. I personally feel like if you start something good, you're gonna finish it good, which means we have to start our year off good and make sure we're motivated and set goals for ourselves so we know what we need to accomplish this year. I decided to just take you guys along with me, show you guys how I'm gonna prep for it, and hopefully this video will be helpful for you guys and motivational for you guys as well. The first thing that I'm gonna do is organize. I personally love organizing, and I feel like organizing is such a good way to start off your year. So I'm gonna be taking out all the stuff out of my dresser out from under my bed and then also cleaning out my closet and then also going through my desk back there and probably my bathroom area as well i really just want to reorganize everything get rid of stuff that i'm not going to use just to have a nice clean start for the year today i went out to target and i got this organization part and i feel like it's so cute and i'm going to use it for my nail stuff because i feel like i have a bunch of nail stuff and right now it's literally sitting in an amazon box so i'm going to get rid of that box and put everything in this cart and I feel like it'll be helpful because then I can just move it around wherever I'm gonna do my nails at so I'm super excited about this I definitely recommend having like organization containers okay I'm starting off with my closet so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take all of my clothes off the hangers which I really don't have that much stuff in here and I recently just did like a closet clean out so I feel like I won't have much to do I'm gonna take off all of this stuff whatever I haven't worn probably in the past at least like two months I'm going to give away and I also already have this big, I don't even know if I can show you guys, but this big bag of clothes that's kind of like summer clothing. So I'm going to probably go through there, see what I want to keep because I did put some stuff in there that I think I will want to keep. So whatever I want to keep, I'm going to put back in here. And then I know I have some stuff that I haven't worn in a little bit that I'm going to put in the trash bag. So, okay, what I just realized is that I don't have that much to like give away because I just recently did like a little closet clean out. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and set up my little basket thing and just kind of like reorganize my closet rather than take everything out because I feel like that would just be a waste of time since I can already tell I don't have anything that I don't wear right now because I mean look at that big bag of clothes over there like that's all the stuff that I don't currently wear and that I'm gonna give away so I think that's good enough Now that my thing is built, I wanted to show you guys everything that I'm gonna put in there. So first of all, I have this purple bin and this little pink basket. This pink basket is literally just nail polish. And I think a lot of it is old, so I'll probably go through here and like throw most of it away because a lot of it is dried up and not good. And then this little bin is like dip powder nail stuff. And I don't really like this stuff, which is why I don't use it anymore, but put that in there as well. And then this is the Amazon box that I was talking about. It's literally just a old Amazon box that I got from all of my nail stuff and I put all of my nail stuff in here. So I feel like this will definitely come in handy. I'm so excited to use it. So I don't have to use this box anymore. So yeah, I'm just gonna organize this to my liking and go from there. Okay, here's my little cart. I feel like it's so cute. So I just put all of my Gel-X nail stuff on here because I feel like this is what I'm gonna use the most. And then that is just like the other nail stuff that I had. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that bin, but I'll probably just use it for something else up until I can fill it. But I think it'll be fine. So I don't know. We'll leave it empty for now unless I find a need for it. But right now, this is what my room is looking like. Also, that stuff right there is my grandma's. So that does not count. But over here, this is all mine. So I'm about to put all of my Christmas decorations away because I don't really want them up anymore and like I said since I'm cleaning I want to go ahead and put that away. This is like some of my normal stuff which is why it's pretty full right now. Another thing that I would like to do possibly sometime this year is change those pictures. I'm kind of getting tired of them. I don't know what it is but it's just not giving anymore and I think it's so cute but I just want to find something else to put over there. I really like the frames so I had them up for about a year now but I just... I don't like them. So I'm also going to be moving my sheets away as well. I didn't really update you guys after I finished like reorganizing my room Friday. Today's actually Sunday, Christmas Eve, and Sundays are my normal days to like do my Sunday reset, but I think I'm gonna try to do a little bit more today. Since this is the last week of 2023, I really wanna go ahead and finish prepping for the new year. Oh, that's awkward. I, <laughs> 
It's so awkward. Basically, I'm like filming in my window and these people like were walking by. And if you guys don't know already, I have shutters so I can like open them up and it makes the lighting a lot better. And these people were walking by and he was like looking over at like other people's houses and they thought he was looking over at me. Anyways, <sighs> but yeah, I'm basically gonna show you guys what I did the other day. Going into my closet, I just put that bag of clothes because I haven't had a chance to like give it away yet. And then also these are the two pairs of shoes that I'm giving away or like donating. They are so messed up. I might just, I don't even know, throw them away. But I feel like someone else could get a better use out of them. But anyways, here's the little cart. I think it looks so cute. All my nail stuff is in here. And then also I put some of my books and like old journals and stuff like that in here. I just feel like it's super convenient and it fits perfectly right here. So this is the stuff that I need to get rid of. The rest of my closet I feel like is pretty clean and organized so i'm not really worried about like reorganizing this part of it because i do feel like i'm wearing most of these clothes that are in here and like i said probably like when it starts to get warmer again i will go through and clear out some stuff again okay guys it's now time to start planning and goal setting for 2024 i just feel like 2024 is going to be such a cool exciting year but basically last year i did this thing where at the beginning of the year i set goals for 2023 and i put them on sticky notes and then I put them on the wall in my bathroom so I could look at them every day. I also did the same thing with Bible verses. So on the right I had my goals and then on the left I had like Bible verses that I just really liked and that I was kind of trying to like memorize but I kind of forgot about them. But this year I really want to focus on achieving those goals and also looking at those Bible verses every day and reminding myself of those verses. And then my grandma gave me this really good idea to like move the sticky notes when I accomplish them. So basically, I want to like show you guys kind of what I mean by that. As you can see, all of my 2023 goals are over here and I didn't really set more like as the year went on. So that's kind of why there's not that much. But for example, I did start playing tennis. So basically what she means is like moving it and putting it like somewhere else to kind of like see all of the goals that I did accomplish. And I think that's a really good idea because then I can just like see everything that I accomplished this year and like what I can be proud of and stuff like that. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do this year except for I want to focus on setting more realistic goals because I feel like most of the goals that I set this past year were very broad so I really want to work on setting smaller goals that are leading up to bigger goals so that way I can accomplish the actual goal because I feel like I didn't really do good on that this year which is fine like I'm not super upset about it but definitely focusing on actually accomplishing those goals so literally all you have to do is grab some sticky notes find a place in your house apartment dorm literally wherever and put them on your wall I recommend putting them in a place where you know you're gonna see them every single day Like for me, I go in my bathroom all the time So it's easy for me to just go in my bathroom and look on the side of my wall and see that <laughs> I've now finished setting my goals and I also went ahead and wrote down some Bible verses that I would like to look at every day and apply to my life. So I'm just going to read aloud some of the goals that I wrote down. So I want to learn new hobbies. I feel like that would just be something fun and something that I could do in the free time that I have. I want to get my permit. I turned 15 this year and so I really want to get my permit. I want to focus on my health and just my fitness overall. I want to finish 10 books this year and that might not seem like a lot compared to people who love to read but I actually enjoy reading I just can never like finish a book so I really want to try to finish 10 books I was gonna do 12 like one for each month but I ended up doing 10 because I feel like that's more realistic for me and I have a few more that's all I'm gonna say for now and then for bible verses I wrote down about maybe eight or so and I just kind of went through my highlighted bible verses that I found on the bible app and I found some really good ones so I just feel like those are bible verses that I can apply to my life and that are very like direct and easy to write on a sticky note so yeah, like I said, I will probably add more as I go throughout the year and I will definitely be adding more Bible verses because I don't have that much right now. But my hand is just kind of tired and I still have a lot more writing to do so I don't want to overdo it. But I'm now going to go in my bathroom, take down my old goals and hang these ones up. I'm super excited to do this. To give you guys kind of an idea on like where my sticky notes are, you can clearly see them. So they're literally just right on the side of my wall where I can look at them while I'm 
brushing my teeth. That's kind of like my favorite thing to do. They're also a little bit hidden. So that way, like if you're just coming into my room, you can't really see them unless you are like fully paying attention. So I really like this area. And then behind me on this wall is where I'm gonna put the goals that I accomplished. So. I honestly don't have to take down the Bible verses that I wrote down for this year, but I kind of want to take them down anyways, just because I feel like it's going to be good to have like a fresh start. All of these are trash. It's like so sad. Oops. The wall looks so empty with nothing on it. It's like I've had those on for like a year now, so. I don't know where I want to like start putting these because I feel like there's going to be a good amount, but I think I'm going to start like up here and just bring it down. Okay, so here's the final result. I did them very high this time, but I think it will just give me more room to like make it come down. So I really like it. I think it's so cute. And also I can look at it every day. Okay, so I'm gonna be in this area for quite some time because we're about to do like a lot of writing and stuff like that. So I found this like inspiration on Pinterest. Anyways, I'm gonna try to copy that for January and I want to try to use this for like each month but like switch it up obviously so basically i'm going to make this like the cover of the month of january and then probably on like the next page i'm going to write things that i want to accomplish in january which i'm gonna have to think about for a little bit but hopefully that'll kind of give you guys an idea on what to like write for each month because that's probably what i'm gonna do make a cover for each month and then write what i want to accomplish each month there's like so many cute ideas but i cannot really draw like i don't really have that great of handwriting i'm just gonna try my best Here's how it ended up turning out. I feel like it doesn't look bad, but it also looks not that great either. So I don't really know what to think about it, but I just wrote down my goals on the next page and then I might add like more stuff later on during the month, like maybe things that I have planned and stuff like that. I think that would be kind of cool to have written down in there. Okay, please excuse the way I look right now. I just did my hair and me and my sister are going to the mall later. So it's kind of like marinating, but today's December 26. I decided I wouldn't go ahead and do my nails. So here's what they look like right now they're not like bad but they definitely need to be redone luckily i do my own nails so i can kind of do them as much as i want but i also don't want to do them too much to where like it's just too much you know so i've had these on for about two weeks now and i actually would leave them on but i do want to go ahead and do them for the new year starts so i'm gonna go ahead and do that today Okay, it's currently like 1.32. I cannot believe it took me that long. I feel like I had enough time to finish, but since I had never like taken them off, it took so long. Like that probably took an hour and a half in itself. But here's what they currently look like. They literally look the exact same, just without the heart. But what I'm gonna do is finish them when I get back. So this is basically just the base. I just put a top coat over it. And then when I get back home, I'll do the French tips. Hopefully they'll come out right. If they don't, I'll just leave them like this and have another natural nail look. But but that's fine but i'm about to get ready to go to the mall because we're gonna leave i think maybe at like two so i'm glad i have time to get ready for that i want to create a vision board for myself and i actually did this last year but what i noticed is that i just found a bunch of aesthetic pictures and not like pictures that actually aligned with my 2023 goals so what i want to do for 2024 is find pictures that actually match up with my 2024 goals i actually already found pictures and i really feel like these match what i want to accomplish and get done in 2024 so i'm I'm just using canva canva works so well i just feel like it's super easy to use so i'm gonna create a wallpaper for my phone and then i'm also going to create a background for my laptop as well i 
Okay, so here's my vision board for 2024. So in the top right corner, I have a Canon camera. I really want to buy a camera this year, so that is going to be one of my really big goals. And then we are going to be doing some traveling this year. We're going to Alaska, and I'm super excited about that. So that's why I have that little airplane there. One of the books that I want to read this year is Atomic Habits, so I also have that on there. I want to focus on working out more and creating a consistent workout routine. I want to focus on playing tennis, and then I also also want to focus on my relationship with God and really reading the Bible every day even if it is just a little scripture just working on breaking it down and applying it to my everyday life my phone wallpaper looks just a little bit different the only difference is that it doesn't have the Canon camera on there because since the wallpaper for my MacBook is bigger I had to add one extra picture this year I want to focus on my health and fitness and something that I noticed when I would work out this past year is that I would struggle with finding workout routines and just workout ideas and I would spend like 10 minutes just thinking about what I wanted to do that specific day when I would work out. So I want to create a workout routine for this upcoming year. I've actually went over to ChatGPT and I asked it to create a five-day advanced workout routine for me. If you guys don't know what ChatGPT is, it's basically like a website that is AI operated basically and my mom like turned me on to this website earlier this year and it is like actually Actually, the best thing that happened to me I'm just kidding I'm just being dramatic but no it is actually a really helpful website it gives you so many ideas for any question that you have to ask like for example you could use it to create a budget for yourself you could use it to create a workout routine like I just did it could give you website ideas and names like literally anything you ask it it'll answer so basically it's giving me five-day workout routine just like I asked day one is upper body strength and then it also has given me like workout that I can do which I'm so excited for because it's just given me like an in detail workout routine my dog is currently barking so one second also I forgot to mention that we recently just got like access to a gym so I think I'm gonna make it a goal to like start going there twice a month and only twice a month because I am able to work out at home and I personally like working out at home better I think it's just because I'm used to it and I'm also not old enough to like go to the gym by myself either my mom or dad has to be there and so yeah anyways day two is a hit cardio and lower body workout day three is a rest day so day three will probably be like a tennis day for me because I don't really want to have a rest day in the middle of the week day four is a push pull strength day and who knows maybe I'll actually go to the gym like once a week and do like a push pull strength day because I think that would be kind of fun and then day five is cardio and functional training and then on Saturdays I will probably do a yoga workout and like do like a really good like stretch and then Sunday would be like my rest day so throughout the week I would work out and then and Sunday and Saturday would kind of be like my rest days pretty much so I just think that's super cool and the coolest thing about this is that you can really create it to your liking and I don't know this was just easier for me to do because then I don't have to like sit here and think about what workouts I want to do and stuff like that so it's like created for me already and it took like three minutes literally not even because it comes up like instantly okay but I want to like give you guys a recap on kind of how 2023 went for me and like what things happened this year I feel like 2023 was a very chill year but it was also a year of changes I feel like and I also tried a lot of new things starting off I actually went to a church camp for the first time this year I did two one in the winter and then one in the summer and both of those were super fun I met really cool people i don't like still talk to them but at the time it was a really cool experience and i also definitely got out of my comfort zone the next thing that i think that happened is i stopped doing gymnastics if you guys don't already know i did gymnastics for about eight years and so the fact that i stopped doing it was huge and i just feel really good about the decision it's almost almost been a year since i quit i'm super glad that i did make that decision and i don't have like any regrets about the fact that i stopped doing it i also started doing social media so this has been about a full year since i've started my youtube channel and also started like my instagram and not quite yet my tiktok but definitely my youtube and my instagram and i cannot believe it's already been a full year of me like picking up my phone and just filming like it's so crazy to me that i have literally been doing this for a year like what i just feel like this year was on speed mode i'm just so thankful that i am able to have
have a YouTube channel and if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you've just been wanting to do it for a while, just do it. Like this is literally the perfect time. The new year is about to start so you'll be able to capture your whole entire year and it's literally just so much fun. Like I have been enjoying just picking up my phone and talking to you guys. It's been such an experience but also so much fun. Anyways, I also feel like I learned a lot this past year just with like friendships and just relationships in general i just feel like this year has been such a big year of growth for me and i'm super excited that i get to go into 2024 just kind of like knowing everything that i learned this past year and also i just feel like i know what i want to do which just feels really good so yeah definitely the main thing that i want to focus on 2024 is accomplishing my goals because i feel like i always set them but i definitely tend to like get into the year and then i don't even think about the goals that I set this past year so that's definitely going to be something that I'm actually going to focus on so yeah I also forgot to show you guys but I did finish my nails I ended up just doing them in this like chrome color I think they're super cute yeah I just feel like I also like learned so many new hobbies like I learned how to do my own nails this year I tried to learn how to crochet but I kind of like started slacking with that but I did try I taught myself how to edit for YouTube and I taught myself just how to like manage my social media so I feel like that's really cool it's just the little things like i just feel like so much happened this year i don't even know but that's all i can think of for now but that's going to be all for my prep with me for 2024 i hope you guys had a great 2023 and i hope that this video was helpful and motivational for you guys for the new year stay tuned for some super exciting content in 2024 i'm just feeling super good super motivated and i'm going to try my best to stay motivated and keep the same like energy i guess throughout the year and so yeah, I will see you guys back for another video in 2024. Bye guys.